Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and today we are going to take a look at the airship mod. And what this mod does is it allows you to fly all over the world. It's kind of a great mod for exploring and it's one of those little mods that's super useful. And you'll find out in a minute it actually looks more like a hot air balloon. But first I will show you guys the crafting recipe and then I'll teach you how it works. Alright, for this recipe what you're going to need is a bunch of red wool. You're going to need a furnace for the middle and a boat on the bottom, and two string, and that will make your airship. And you're going to see it really does look a lot more like a hot air balloon than an airship. And I actually found a glitch, guys. If you put this down, it's like invisible for like three seconds. It takes like three seconds to load. So if I right click right here, it has disappeared. And it should appear in one second. And there we go. So I thought that was kind of weird. So if you're worried, don't worry. It'll appear in a second. So all you're going to need for this is some coal to fuel it. And to fuel the airship, you just need to right click it. So you see like that, my coal is going down because I'm fueling it. And there is no GUI that tells you when you're running out of fuel. But I've noticed if you just shove a bunch into it, it's going to last for a very long time. So there really isn't too much to worry about. So to get in the airship, you just right click it like that. And I will switch the view so we can actually see me. So um, the controls for this are really simple. They're W, A, S, and D, which you should be used to by now. And W for forward, S for backwards and A for left and D for right. And to go up and down, you're going to use Z and you're going to use X. So if I hold down Z, I'm going to slowly start rising. But one thing to mention is that it, it rises really slow. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm actually rising right now, slowly rising over these trees. So you're going to want to be really careful because if you crash, the airship does break. It does break into pieces. You lose all your coal. It's kind of depressing if that happens. So be very careful with it. And make sure that you're holding Z for a while if you are going towards something high, like those mountains in front of us. And same thing with going down. It does take a little bit of time to go down, so it is not the fastest vehicle in the world. And one of the main reasons I'm reviewing this mod is because it's the only mod of this type that is actually updated for the newest version of Minecraft. So it is a good option for anyone who is looking for a flying vehicle, an airship, or a hot air balloon. So it's pretty cool, though. I really like it. I like to be able to fly around. It's awesome to be able to go over the biomes like this. It's just like a great way to get around. Just awesome. I feel so sick just flying through the air like this. Oh, man. But um, I'll show you um, what happens when you crash. It's probably the only thing left to show because it is a pretty like simplistic mod. So what we're going to do is I am going to hit X, and I'm going to try to crash into the side over here. And you're going to see it's going to break your stuff. I mean, it's not good. See, I crash right here. Trying to crash. And there we go. And yeah. See, now... What am I left with? I'm left with some um, some planks. And I got some lag, too. That was weird. But yeah, usually you do get some sticks, too. I've crashed quite a few times already. Just testing the mod out. But yeah, be really careful with the mod. Um, don't crash into anything, so you'll lose all your coal and all your stuff like that. But anyways, that's about all there is to show. It's just kind of like a small mod, great for flying around. And the recipe isn't too ridiculous. You kind of make those materials pretty easily. But anyways, guys, if you do want to check out the mod, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.